Hi guys, welcome to Paternix Corner. So today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about shipping, shipping supplies, and shipping procedures. People often wonder if shipping hatching eggs is safe and what precautions breeders take to ensure that your hatching eggs are going to be delivered safely. Uh, most of the breeders in the United States use the United States Postal Service, USPS, to ship their eggs. And for the most part, they do a pretty good job of getting your eggs to you intact and on time. Um, the most common way to ship hatching eggs is in these specially designed foam inserts that uh, the eggs are put into. And these are designed to fit a certain size priority mail shipping box. Um, dependent on the number of eggs that you order is going to determine what size foamer that the uh, breeder is going to use to ship your eggs. Uh, there's three different size foamers that I know of. There may be others uh, that I'm not familiar with. Uh, one is the 18 hole, and this is commonly used for smaller orders. Um, Jennifer Bryant of Bryant's Roos has just released a 40 count foamer. This fits a medium size uh, USPS priority mailbox. And then I don't have the foamer itself, but this is the size foamer that um, most breeders use when they're shipping larger uh, orders of eggs uh, and it's a 60 count foamer. Um, these foamers can be doubled up. Uh, say you ordered uh, 36 eggs, what, they, what a breeder will do is they'll take and uh, place the uh, foam sheet. This is just a half inch piece of foam. Um, they'll set that in the box, then they'll set your first 18 eggs on top of that another foam sheet on top of those eggs, and then your second rack of eggs, and then the last foamer on top, and they'll fit it in the box. Um, when breeders get these foamers, they usually come solid. It's a solid piece, but they have punch outs to where you can kind of like punch out these little peanuts. And uh, what they'll do is they hang on to these because they use them to fill any dead air space inside the box. So your eggs are going to be uh, for the most part, um, very well protected when they're shipped. And these foam inserts, I mean, they're pretty tough. I mean, the eggs don't fall out of them. You know, you, you really got to jostle them around. But um, if they're packed tight enough, you don't really need to worry about them getting to you, uh, you know, falling out of the foam or anything like that. Um, as far as this new foamer goes, if any of you guys are thinking about getting into shipping hatching eggs and you're wondering where you can get uh, foam, uh, there's a couple different places online. You can just do a, uh, a Google search for uh, hatching egg foamers or hatching egg foam. Um, the one that I use is uh, eggshippers.com and another one is featheredhatchery.com. Uh, those are the places that I get on my eggs. Um, the boxes can be picked up at USPS, um, depending on what size box you wanna use. They will actually ship the boxes to you in these, uh, this I believe is like a 25 count. And the boxes are free, they don't charge you. You can go on their website, once you have a, a, an account created, uh, you can place an order for boxes as often as you need them and they'll ship the boxes right to you. Uh, foamers are not terribly expensive. It, it is a, an added cost to shipping, um, but there are a few different ways that you can uh, save yourself a little bit of money on shipping and hence the different size shipping boxes. Usually a small shipping box like this is gonna run anywhere between you know, 12 and $15, depending on where it's going. Um, and then the larger one's going to be closer to 20 bucks. Uh, the medium one, I'm not sure on the exact flat rate on that box, but uh, I'm sure it's somewhere in between those two. Um, some breeders will double box their, their hatching eggs. What they'll do is, for instance, this medium sized shipping box, you could pack your eggs in, into that and then stick it into the larger box. It will fit inside there and then just fill any dead air space up. Uh, that's just gonna give you a little more added protection on your eggs. Um, but for the most part, I've seen, you know, even single box eggs do a pretty good job uh, when, when people are using these foamers because the, the foamers just hold them so well. Uh, as long as they're packed in tight, they usually get there pretty good. Um, so for those of you who are concerned 
uh, about your eggs, you know, getting to you safely and intact. Um, I wouldn't really worry about it. You know, if you are concerned, you know, call your breeder and ask them what precautions they actually take. And if they're using these standard shipping foam inserts uh, for your eggs, or if you're shipping, um, I would highly recommend that you use something like this. Don't try to ship your eggs in those, those plastic egg cartons. Those are mainly used for selling eating eggs and they don't do well uh, in the postal service. So guys, I, I know this is a short video, but I just wanted to uh, kind of put some people's minds at ease uh, when it comes to you know, ordering hatching eggs online or you know, through a breeder that you may know. Um, obviously the best way, if you can go to the farm and pick them up in person, that's gonna be the best way to do it. Uh, but shipping hatching eggs isn't, you know, that big of a deal. You know, thousands and thousands of boxes of hatching eggs are shipped every day. And for the most part, they do a pretty good job of getting to you on time. I will say, uh, as far as shipping goes, um, it can affect your hatch rate. Um, there's so many variables in shipping um, that can you know, affect the hatchability of an egg, you know, whether it was, you know, roughly handled, whether it was uh, in the in transit, you know, a little bit too long, um, how old the eggs were when the breeders actually packed them up and sent them to you. There, there's so many variables, but I've had, I've had shipped eggs where I've got excellent hatch rates, you know, 80, 70, 80, 90%. And I've had hatch rates down as low as 10 and 20% on shipped eggs. So. I always tell people that, yeah, ordering shipped eggs through the Postal Service is a gamble, but for the most part, you know, I think on average they're saying, you you know, on average a 50% hatch rate is about what you're going to get on shipped eggs. So guys, I hope this helped, you know, and uh, brought a little bit of light to shipping, especially if you're new to ordering hatching eggs and you're, you're just worried, you know, are they going to get there? Am I wasting my money or what? Uh, for the most part, I would say, yeah, you're pretty safe ordering eggs. Uh, online from a reputable reputable breeder, um, odds are you're going to get your eggs uh, intact, and you know hopefully fingers crossed you get a good hatch rate. So guys, uh, thanks for joining me today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out. You can get notified of any new and upcoming videos. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.